flames that destroyed a Brookline apartment building earlier this week, an amazing story of survival is now being told. Nine fires broke out on campuses across the nation over three weeks in January and February 2012. A fire is in the headlines, but then quickly is replaced by other breaking news, and we never hear of the true impact of these fires. This documentary tells of this impact, what happens after the headlines fade, it tells the rest of the story. Laboratory fires don't often get much attention outside of the university, but they can have a devastating impact when they go wrong. Two fires, one at the University of Maryland in College Park and the other at SUNY in Canton, New York, had dramatically different outcomes. The fire in Maryland was in a high-tech research laboratory that housed a number of highly toxic gases and chemicals. Fortunately, this lab had an automatic fire sprinkler system that controlled the fire. We had a fire on January 26th, I believe, um, in the ceiling of our lab here at University of Maryland, and it was inside our clean room. Now, we're not exactly sure what started the fire. Fortunately, no one was injured in the actual fire, so two students were in the lab at the time. They called 911 and got the fire in here uh, as soon as possible. So the damage was really mitigated by the quick response of the firemen and the quick discharge of the sprinkler system. If the sprinkler system hadn't gone off, the damage may have been much more severe and the fire could have spread and either destroyed the lab or destroyed the entire building. So we're actually very, very lucky that it was somewhat contained and that the damage was minimal. Now, if the fire had been much worse and our tool had actually burned down and some of the steel had melted, then these chemicals would have been released into the environment, and this could have been incredibly dangerous. And our lab is adjacent to three other labs, all of which are still in full working order. There was no damage there. Um, so business can continue as usual in these other labs. Fire started in a fan in the ceiling up here, uh, in our filtration system in the clean room. So the fan caught on fire, and then the air filter up here caught on fire, which lit this whole ceiling panel on fire. Now that discharged the sprinklers. One sprinkler is right here, and one sprinkler is over there. These are the only two sprinklers in the building that went off above this ALD system, and another ALD system, which was right underneath this fire, um, which we've removed from the lab now. So we had the hazmat team came in and tested the water and everything that was in the lab, and we were allowed back in about three hours after the fire when they declared it safe. So we got to come in and start cleaning up right away, three hours after the fire happened, which we think helped us save quite a bit of equipment um, and quite a bit of our electronics and, and things that we had in the lab. A fire broke out in a chemistry laboratory at SUNY Canton. This lab did not have an automatic fire sprinkler system and the damage was extensive. But that's not the end of the story. Because of the environmental impact caused by the toxic byproducts from the fire, the campus was shut down for an entire week and all the students were sent home while the damage could be assessed and cleaned up. The volunteer fire department had to have firefighters on campus for the entire week. Because of the possibility of contamination, fire trucks, breathing equipment, and turnout gear was bagged, quarantined, and cleaned a major impact on fire department operations. This fire in an unsprinklered chemistry lab had a significant effect upon the mission, continuity of the school, and the community. <laughs>